Hello, Mick Nuclear Abominations here, and uh, today we are moving to Finland for another classic of um, Finnish death metal. Uh, what's the main difference between Finnish death metal and Swedish death metal? Well, well, um, the Swedish death metal has a very characteristic sound, and you have probably uh, heard it a million times, and uh, you might have even read the classic. Um, a book by Daniel Ekaroth about the Swedish death metal and how the bands, uh, the Swedish bands, managed to find uh, that kind of extremely dense and uh, uh, distorted sound. The matter with uh, Finnish death metal, in my opinion, is that it's <coughs> way darker and it's very, very compressed, very obscure, very dark. And uh, Funebra is one of the first bands that actually um, managed to um, feel that uh, find that kind of sound. And uh, in particular, this is um, a, a re edition of the two tracks that have been printed on vinyl. Uh, and the, uh, these are tracks that were orgi originally, as yes, you can read here, um, released on uh, their first demo tape. They actually did two demo tapes, and uh, both these tracks are from the first demo tapes. There are other songs on the first demo, but you can actually hear them here on YouTube. And the label that released these uh, seven inch is called Whisper in Darkness, and it was a German label that only released, as far as I know, only two um, records, both uh, on seven inch. And uh, the first one uh, was uh, Anand Slaughter, 7 inch, which was released in a very weird print run of uh, 318 copies, of which 18 copies are on, uh, I don't remember, red or white. I think, the, yeah, the, the 18 copies are on, uh, on, uh, on white vinyl. And... Uh, um, this one instead comes with uh, this yellow and black and yellow cover and also a yellow vinyl. I have uh, two copies here and you can see that both are numbered, uh, both are under numbered. The copy is 364 and 265 of 500. As you can read here, there is a guarantee, which I guess it's it's uh, a misspelling, an English word for warranty. Or uh, in any case, they guarantee you that this record was manufactured in a full moon night. Um, musically, like I said before, this is pure sw um, pure Finnish death metal. Um, the sound is very very dark it's very grinding slow sound with uh, very deep vocals which is typical of these early finnish bands and um, uh, it's mid-tempo it's not very fast but it's that kind of mid-tempo that was very characteristic of these bands and um, only two tracks, but it's very, very recommended if you can manage to get it. Um, actually, Extreme Records uh, released um, re-released these tracks on uh, at least two different releases. One is quite recent; it's probably two or three years old. I don't have it because I don't like Extreme Records re-releases the way they they do it. They do them, but it's just a matter of personal taste. Um, in any case, this great Finnish death metal, it's another gem that I highly recommend you to um, to look after. And, uh, okay, I will just open it for you to uh, see a little better. The cover is uh, just, as you can see, printed on just one side. It's just a leaflet that's uh, bent in... Uh, in this part, then there's this white uh, paper con paper bag that contains the vinyl itself. Uh, this is the logo of the label. I really know I don't know anything about this label. If you have 
some information about it. I'm really interested in uh, in hearing uh, in hearing them because well, I, it's just kind of mythical um, label that I've never been in touch with, and uh, it probably just lasted the year that they released their two the two seven inches, and maybe they changed just changed uh, uh, name. I don't know. In any case, Funebre, absolutely great 7-inch, uh, look for it because it's great finish, old school, dark, deep stuff. Bye.